Our next presenters are Ad Dispatch, and they're going to present an otherworldly augmented reality concept oh, wow. that blends the real and virtual worlds by using a camera, a screen, and a computer. How you doing? So let's Am I here? That right. My name is Matt, and this is Jay. We're with Ad Dispatch. We have a 10-year history as a production studio out of Halifax, enlisted twice in the Profit 100 for the fastest growing in the country. And we are now partners with Total Immersion, the global leaders in augmented reality. And we're bringing augmented reality to the mainstream market in Canada. So yeah, thanks a lot for having us. And we're really excited to be here and really show you guys how amazing this technology is and how you guys can use this as a creative canvas to really break through to consumers. So we know it's late in the afternoon and we're not going to be up here talking your ear off. We just have three examples and we want to show you. And hopefully you guys uh, just ask us questions along the way. So what we have here, this is a consumer grade computer and just a regular piece of paper. There's nothing special about it. But watch what happens when Matt holds it in front of the webcam. <laughs> Ooh, good so what you're seeing there. right now is, I'm, as Jay said, this is a regular car brochure. But I'm able to take this and fully explore the car in a 3D model in a way like I've never been able to before using a conventional print medium. And really what's special about this, it's the software. It's not the infrastructure and the setup of the computer. Uh, Matt, why don't you demonstrate the markerless tracking technology? So what's going on is Matt is touching the physical brochure and he's able to actually... <laughs> He's able to actually customize his virtual ride. So really, this is just one example. You, <laughs> and really, I'm sure some of you, of you guys have heard of augmented reality before, but I'm willing to bet what you've seen probably looks like this, a black and white barcode. You know, the bottom line is, when, does, when do you come across this in your day-to-day -day life as a consumer? You know, you don't. That's old. What we have is new, and that's any image any object we can use to create these immersive experiences. So think about this. You're in a POS setting. Your child picks up a toy. They can hold it up to the digital signage in that store and fully explore the features of that toy. This isn't just something new and cutting edge. This is also something that we can use to really uh, breathe new life into traditional forms of media too, like print. So take, for example, with regards to print. Okay? Here I have a newspaper. It's the regular newspaper that you've seen before. And there's an ad in it for St. Effects University in Nova Scotia. Okay? Regular print ad, nothing different to what you've seen. When I hold it in front of my camera. Residence is a big part of life at St. Effects. Almost half of the student population and take it away, pull it back up. 90% of first years live on campus. That's a lot of friends to make. Oh, and I think residents are going to be anyone. Craft is awesome. It's so much fun. It kind of works. So what you're seeing right there as well is the ability for not just animation, but for video. And again, traditional print, nothing different in the regular print ad, but I'm able to experience and explore the, the university in a revolutionary way and enhance my expe expectations of the university, but also my experience using the print ad. And really, we're here today showing new technology, but the bottom line is uh, the same principles apply. It's still about telling a good story to the consumer. And what this is, this is just another tool in your arsenal. What we have next, this is a demonstration that was just actually unveiled uh, globally about two weeks ago. And that's taking all of these features, taking the ability to customize virtual information and putting it in the palm of your hands, putting it in the hands of the consumers. So what I have right now is, if anyone's seen it, is the new Google phone. There's nothing fancy about this phone, though, other than the fact that you know, it has a web camera involved, other than the fact that it's new to the market with Google. But what I'm going to show you right now so when I, I'm going to show it on the camera so everybody can see it as well. But when I hold it in front of this image, my hands are shaking a little bit. <laughs> I'll see if I can get it going. OK, so what's going to happen, actually, is just my hands are shaking. I'm sorry, I apologize. So I'm... You're two for two right now. So come on, make it work. There we go. OK, I'll show you guys in a little minute. But what's happening is the, exactly what you've just seen on, the, on the, the laptop is happening on my cell phone right now. I'm able to see a robot for the purposes of this demo living right there on the space. 
It's awesome. All right, I'm going to hop over here and show you guys while Jay continues. So th think about the newspaper example we showed you earlier, but instead change up the location. Instead, maybe you're at a cafe and you're reading the movie section. You come across an ad for a movie that you want to see, but you want information and you don't want to wait till you get home. All of a sudden, you can take out your phone and you can watch a trailer for that movie directly on the newspaper. Maybe we take it a step further. You can explore bonus features just by touching the print ad itself. So really what this is, this isn't a gimmick, this is a trend. And all this is is another tool for you guys to use, really to create impact with people. Uh, so it's, it's really the early days and the rules have yet to be written. So really, we're limited by two things here. Uh, first, we're limited by how bold your clients are. And secondly, how much creative horsepower you guys put behind these ideas. Thank you. Thanks. Great. Can you that talk I, about? Go ahead, Judy. Sorry. Can you talk about the cost of an average campaign to do something like this? Yeah, it's uh, depending on where you go. So if it's web, for instance, uh, it can range from like twenty-five thousand all to a couple hundred thousand, depending on how immersive it is and how much CGI you guys do. So uh, it you know it really goes the full spectrum, but on the low end, around twenty-five thousand upwards, a few hundred thousand dollars. So are you working with any any partners now? Any creative agencies now that you're? Yeah, Already yeah, actually, with, yeah, w the first campaign we did in our partnership with Total Immersion is only a few months old, but it was with uh, Atlantic Lottery in Atlanta, Canada, and their challenge was they had a new lottery product that was geared towards young people, so, you know, the whole idea of, uh, you know, people aren't buying lotteries the same way, so what we did was we tried to put people directly into the experience, and what we used for the trigger point, instead of a Citron... <laughs> So, so Matt, thanks, thanks for stealing my thunder when I was getting sorry, the good Jay. part. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, so for Atlantic Lottery, what we actually used was people's eyeballs. So all we need is anything with contrast and we can create these experiences. So we actually put people directly in the lottery experience. So all of a sudden they were skydiving off the Swiss Alps or they were uh, on a safari and the whole immersive world came and was on their bodies and it was part of the digital signage as well. It's really cool. So how could there not be anything that's connecting the print ad to the augmented reality on the, uh, on the system, on the, whatever system you use? I didn't understand how there wasn't some, you said there's nothing different about this print ad than any um, other print ad. Sorry, is my mic still? Yeah. When it, what I showed you right there was opened right there and was in a web browser. So that t-shirt thing that I just did as well, mm -hmm. for example, um, you can go to addispatch.com, there's a little thing you can test out for yourself. With the t-shirt, you're able to, basically what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to download an application. A couple of years ago, you probably went online to, to view something that had flash video and it said, you need to install something. Right now, yeah, you do need to install something, but every time you go back to that site now, you have it on your computer. You don't have to download an application every single time you're going to have that total immersion, augmented reality experience. And for, to trigger these situations, all we need is anything with contrast. So with ALC, we used eyeballs. There we used Citron. It really can be absolutely anything. So are you going to be talking to um, some of the major media companies to see what you can do from a, a content perspective with the publishers? Is that something that you're pursuing? Definitely. I, I mean, we think it's like the new, the new normal is right, right now is blending the digital and the traditional things. So I mean, Kindle, everybody's talking about what's happening. We see this as a great way to, to really provide new life into print. So imagine you're reading a story to your kid. All of a sudden, you can fully explore uh, like a book that comes to life. So, and we could, we can pretty much use products as we were we remote. So, you could have a book that the characters come to life as you turn the pages that you're actually able to interact with to complete the stories. Well, I love it. So, give me a call tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thank Thanks very much. Thanks for the nice meeting. I'll give you one of mine. Uh, thank you. I'll meet you next week. Well thank done. you very much. Excellent. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks. 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 I guess so. Uh, can I just ask one question? Is the software, the software that you have, is that what's in here or is that what's in the computer? What's that? The software that's, well, yeah. no, it's on, it's in the computer, but again, it's something that when you go to a web browser and it says, enjoy your augmented reality experience, mm -hmm. your computer's going to say, okay, prompt my webcam, okay. Now I just install this feature, which again. And where does that feature come from? Any it's, computer. Yeah. All we need is a camera a screen in any computer. So any okay, of your I'm computers at What I'm just trying to get at is just nobody's going to have to pay to actually have no. what they, no. to use this. Nope. Okay, good, very good. Thank no. you very much. All right. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thanks, Dragon. Very good.
Yeah, really good. Yeah, you're See you in touch. Thanks a lot.